Hello, my name's Rachel, and this is Russell, an Airedale Terrier. He's the star of my children's stories, Ruffle the Railroad. Say hello, Ruffle. Ruffle has exciting adventures at a railway station just like this one. He lives very near the station and comes down to meet Eric, the station master. Eric makes sure that Ruffle keeps safe on his visits here. This is Eric, the station master. Give everybody a wave, Eric. I know Ruffle. Shall we tell the listeners one of your stories? We shall. Okay, come on then. Ruffles walks a snowy treat. It has snowed during the night, so Ruffle woke to a blanket of white that covered all the fields. To the delight of the children, the village school was cancelled for the day. Even the steam trains had stopped running, so Eric the station master and Ben the engine driver of the green train had a free day. Behind the station was a large field that had a lovely hill just right for sledging on. Although it was early, Already people had gathered with their sledges that they'd found from the backs of garages and sheds, some old, some new, all different shapes and sizes. Ruffle had only seen the snow once before, so was so excited. He ran round, gathering the snow into big mounds, trying to catch all the snowflakes. It was not like sand, but it was much colder, and the snow tended to gather in his fur on his legs in little icicles and droplets. Try as they might, people tried to encourage Ruffle onto the sledges, but he didn't like it. Instead, he enjoyed racing the sledges down to the bottom of the slope. Ruffle barked and jumped about as the sledges sped past him, trying their best to unseat the riders. He raced them to the bottom of the hill, jumping around with excitement as the sledge finally managed to shake free of its passengers. Ruffle ran over to where Eric and Ben were busy rolling large snowballs. Lots of children had gathered there and they helped Eric and Ben manoeuvre the large snowballs into place using snow to cement the structure in place. Ruffle tried to help, biting and digging at the snow, but it soon got too cold for his teeth and paws. Once the statue was finished, everybody stood back to admire it. Not bad, said Eric. He looked at Ruffle. Quite a good likeness, in fact. Ben, ben gave Ruffle a little pat. Well, Ruffle, what do you think? Ruffle looked. The statue was a snow dog, an Airedale, just like Ruffle, made of snow. Not bad likeness at all, Ruffle. Join us next time for another Ruffle the Rail Dog story. Remember, you can learn more about Ruffle stories on our website, www.ruffletheraildog.co.uk, or follow us on Facebook or Twitter. Until next time, goodbye. Rap, rap.